Hi guys, it's Miss Bobby today. Today's Monday and we're going to start talking this week about um, going to the beach and the ocean and things you might see at the ocean and things you might see at the beach. So um, Bear decided he wanted to say hello and good morning today. So, okay. Now can I read to the kids? Yeah. <laughs> First we're going to talk to Henrietta a little bit. So last week um, we were learning about how to solve problems, okay? Um, if you're having a strong feeling, you have to calm down first, and we know how to do that. And then you need to use your words and say the problem. So let's find out what's going on with Henrietta today. Miss Bobby, can you help me? Well, what happened, Henrietta? What is it? Well, we were playing in the water table, and Duke got me all wet. And I didn't like it, and I felt mad. Well, what did you do about it? Well, I remembered about calming down. I said, stop, I'm mad. And then I took some belly breaths and I felt much better. Well, that's good because calming down helps you be ready to solve the problem. You used your words to say the problem. That was good. Yeah, the problem is that Duke was splashing me with water. Well, there's a lot of safe ways to solve that problem. One, you can walk away and come talk to me. That was good. Another way is to talk to Duke in a very strong, respectful way. And we learned about that earlier this year. And you can tell Duke that you don't like that. That's called being assertive and speaking up. Okay? So, guys, what do you think Henrietta could say to Duke? I think we've used these words before. We've told our friends, please stop doing that. I don't like that. And you use your big, strong voice, your assertive voice. Okay? I'm going to practice. Stop splashing. It's not okay to splash. I don't like that. Please stop. That sounded very strong and respectful. You used your please word and you were very assertive. When someone says something unsafe or mean, saying what you mean, what you need or want in a strong voice is the way to help solve your problem. Sometimes it doesn't work. So remember that boys and girls, if you do use your big voice and you tell someone to stop doing it and they don't stop, remember you still have to come get a big person. Okay. Good job. All right, now on to our beach story. Today's beach story is Pete the Cat, and we love Pete the Cat, don't we guys? Pete the Cat and his magic sunglasses. This is written by Kimberly and James Dean. I wonder what makes his sunglasses magic. Look, there he's on the skateboard. That looks like a fun thing to do in the summer. There's our title page. Let's find out what happens to Pete the Cat. Pete the Cat did not feel happy Pete had never, ever, ever, ever been grumpy before. Pete had the blue cat blues. So that means just Pete just wasn't in a very good mood, didn't feel very happy today. Then, as if things were not bad enough, along came Grumpy Toad. Grumpy Toad was never happy. He always wore a frown. But Grumpy Toad was not grumpy today. He said, these cool blue sungla magic sunglasses make the blues go away. They help you see things in a whole new way. Well, Grumpy Toad's being really nice to Pete. Pete put on the cool blue magic sunglasses. He looked all around. Right on! The birds are singing. The sky is bright. The sun is shining. I'm feeling all right. Pete thanked Grumpy Toad for the cool blue magic sunglasses. He went on his way, and soon he saw Squirrel. Squirrel did not look happy. Pete said, what's wrong, Squirrel? I'm so mad. Nothing is going my way. I only found one acorn today. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Squirrel put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Awesome! The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. Those sunglasses are pretty cool. Pete said goodbye to Squirrel and continued on his way. Soon he saw his friend Turtle. Turtle did not look happy. What's wrong, Turtle? Pete asked. I'm so frustrated. Nothing is going my way. I am all upside down today. Look, poor Turtle. Goodness, that would be pretty frustrating, huh? Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Turtle put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Far out, 
The birds are singing, the sky is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. Pete kept rolling along until he saw Alligator. Alligator did not look happy. What's wrong, Alligator? Pete said. I'm so sad. Nothing's going my way. No one wants to play with me today. Pete said, try these cool blue magic sunglasses. They help you see things in a whole new way. Alligator put on the cool blue magic sunglasses and looked all around. Rockin'! These birds are singing, the sun is bright, the sun is shining, I'm feeling all right. Pete was rolling along and feeling all right when suddenly he fell back. The cool blue magic sunglasses went crack. Uh-oh, Pete didn't know what to do without those sunglasses. Just then, Pete looked up in the tree. Wise old owl said, Pete, you don't need magic sunglasses to see things in a new way. Just remember to look for the good in every day. Pete looked around without his sunglasses. Too cool. The birds are singing. The sky is bright. The sun is shining. We're feeling all right. So it wasn't really the magic sunglasses. You just got to always look at the good in every day, huh? Okay, see you tomorrow, guys.